Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm gonna to show you how to sew perfect seams. I'm gonna give you three tips so that way you get perfect seams every single time, no matter what your seam allowance is. These tips are so awesome, you're gonna be wondering why you haven't been using them all along. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out sewing videos every single week, multiple times a week, so many sewing videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. So let's head over to the sewing machine and sew some perfect seams. My first tip is the magnetic seam gauge. If you do not have one of these, they are a must for your sewing machine. They just click right onto the plate of your sewing machine and you can move it along any width you like on the plate of your machine. Let's check it out. So this here is the magnetic seam gauge. You can see there's a magnet on the back of it. So let's clip it onto the machine. So you're gonna take it and just set it down on the plate. It's gonna click down and it stays really tight on the machine because it has a strong magnet. And now we take this edge here and we line it up with our seam allowance that we want. So I'm putting mine at a half inch. And now when I sew, I'm just gonna line my fabric up with this metal edge here and we're gonna get a perfect seam. So let's sew up a perfect seam. I've got my two pieces of fabric together, got everything lined up. Make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and the end. And now while I'm sewing this, I'm just keeping the edge of my fabric lined up back here with the metal guide. Let's take a close look and check out our seam. I'm going to be using a seam gauge to measure it just to double check that it came out a half inch. And if you don't know what a seam gauge is, these are great too because you can check and measure your seam allowances. We place the edge of the seam gauge at the seam and we measure over into our seam allowance. You'll see it's at a half inch. And if you wanna check your seam consistency, you can measure at the top of your seam, middle of your seam and the bottom of your seam. And you can see that our magnetic seam gauge worked awesome and we got a perfect half inch seam by clipping on that magnetic seam guide to the plate of our sewing machine. So tip number two is tape. I know, sewing and tape, what? But if you don't have a magnetic seam gauge, no worries. You can actually tape down on your plate right where you wanna line up your fabric. And this just helps your eyes see it really quick and fast and line it up. Um, I'm gonna be using this really fun cupcake tape, but you can use any tape you want as long as it's not clear. I mean, you could use clear tape, but it's really easy if you use something that's patterned or colored on the plate of your machine. And you can use this for any seam allowances. Maybe you're sewing a really wide seam allowance and it's over your plate of the machine. That way you can put the tape way out on the bed of your machine and you have a line to follow no matter how big your seam allowances are that you are creating. For instance, what if we were sewing a five inch hem and we had to line up our fabric way out here on the bed of our machine? Well, we can take some tape and we can put it down right at the five inch mark. And now we know exactly where to line up our fabric. We know that our fabric has to be right here the entire time. Or maybe you just wanna use it to create a regular 5 8 inch of a seam. So we're just gonna place it right here. And now we know we just need the edge of our fabric to line up with the edge of the tape. So for this technique, we're just lining up the edge of our fabric with the edge of the tape, and you can choose to use this edge of the tape or that edge of the tape. Just make sure that you know what edge of the tape you're looking for. And for this one, I'm gonna be using the first edge of the tape. So line everything up. Don't forget your back stitches. And now you're just gonna keep it guided with the tape. And this is nice because you can put your tape all the way down the bed of your machine to keep it straight way down here. So that way when it reaches the top of the machine, you can really make sure that everything is nice and straight. Back stitch and cut. So I have my seam gauge here to check my seam allowance and I can measure in the middle, we got five eighths. At the very top, we have 5 eighths, and at the very bottom, we have 5 eighths. So using that long strip of tape really helps guide your fabric. 
My third tip is heat soluble ink. So we are gonna draw on our seam allowances and this is great if you're doing curves or you're sewing a V point and you need to make sure that you're getting right to the edge of where your seam allowance is. So draw it on and make sure you're using a heat soluble marking tool. So that way when you hit it with the iron, it disappears. So I have my heat soluble marking tool and I've lined up the edge of my ruler with a quarter inch and we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam for this one. So just drag your marking tool right along where the ruler is. And now we have a quarter inch that we're going to sew up and follow. Now we can see exactly where our seam is and I'm gonna be lining up this mark with the center of my foot. So that little red mark on the center of my foot. Backstitch at the end of your seam and cut. So we have our perfect quarter inch seam. We're gonna take our seam gauge here and measure from our seam to the edge of the fabric. We've got a quarter at the top, we've got a quarter in the middle, and we've got a quarter at the end. So we are looking good. This is a great technique. Just make sure you're using a really thin marking tool. You don't wanna use anything that's too thick, otherwise your seam allowance might end up too big or too small. Now that we've created beautiful, perfect seams, let's take a look at them and go over exactly what we just did. For seam one, we used a magnetic seam gauge. For seam two, we used tape. And for seam three, we used a heat soluble marking pen and they all turned out perfect. So you've got to try these methods at home. I would love to know how you get perfect seams. What method do you use? Leave it down below in the comments and share it with everyone else. And make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia so you know when all the new videos come out. And make sure you hit that notification bell because I put out videos every single week, twice a week. So much sewing content for you. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all the social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together because I put out sewing content on those every single day. So make sure you check those out. And links for all of those are down below in the description. And if you're in Chicago, come and take a sewing class in my design studio, or you could take one virtually as well. And all that is at SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.